Today the children are going to come in, uh, they're going to be able to explore the actual archives, they come up to the archive centre, have a look at some negatives, some photographic negatives, some photographic prints, but also be able to look at it online um, and to really get a sense of what it is to be working within a university environment. Uh, it can seem quite off-putting, but in actual fact it's just an ordinary working environment where creative practice can take place. So on top of the archive we're going to visit the dark rooms, uh, some media labs, so they can get a sense of where the spaces that they might be working. We started off over in the, um, the archive with all of those pictures and the kids went through all the pictures, they learnt about ar archiving, they learnt about how to digitise that work and then they chose a picture and that picture came with them on the journey for their, their work. It's like when you, you get that sense of pride because you know you've yeah. done it yourself. I've been, I suppose, guiding the kids with um, learning about photography and giving them a little bit of an introduction to the how to use the camera, um, how to pick up on compositions and lighting and just noticing things. But really, they've just been doing their own thing, just taken to it naturally like a duck to water, and it's been great watching them just find themselves through photography. I'm always surprised by the way that kids respond to photography because I mean individually it brings out parts of their characters because the great thing about photography is that you can kind of link to it depending on what you're into you know if you like if you like nature you can take pictures of nature if you like street life if you like music so there's something for everyone and if they don't have very high you know self-esteem and they start looking at pictures that they've taken and people are going wow that's an amazing picture you know how did you take that and we'll start to think, well, actually, I can do this, and I'm pretty good at this, and I didn't even have to work hard to do it. I just did it naturally, and that's really important for kids to feel, I think. And also, it's not it's not like art or drawing where you kind of you can you can try and make a drawing, and kind of go, oh, I'm not very good at it, because it's very sort of accessible photography, because you can literally just you frame the camera on something, you take a picture, and there it is. from the streets, people taking photos, walking on the beach, help one another, pushing them to try, when we have a problem we're not afraid to cry. The world starts crumbling and tumbling, it always leads to one thing, do we keep it secret, do we tell a friend, or do we just leave it and make it all pretend? They've been coming to the studio, uh, Big Jelly Studios in Ramsgate, and we've been helping them realise the soundtrack to their projects basically. So we've recorded raps um, and them singing various um, melody lines that are you know, certain hooks or motifs that we're going to use in their track. Their ideas are incredible and I've always said this when I've worked in projects like this or similar to this or when I teach. The, the, creati the, the creativity that comes out of kids at this age is like an untapped, pure, golden, hallowed ground, the likes of which most old jaded gets like me you know sort of you know dream of having again so really it's just about having people around who can nudge and nurture that mm. and realize those ideas because they don't know how to form that into something that translates for them as being real or good I've been asked to help shape these kids' ideas into a piece of music that goes with their photography project and it's been 
quite interesting and fun because I don't think any of them have been in a studio before and we've just been collecting ideas and brainstorming and they're all quite enthusiastic and fun kids. Behind this face is sometimes sad, it's not every day. We live have happiness, you may not see this, but it's there, it's all around us, everywhere. Starts up some nights, laughter on the streets, people taking photos, walking on the beach. Help one another, pushing them to try. When we have a problem, we're not afraid to cry. The world starts crumbling and tumbling, it always leads to one thing. Do we keep a secret? Do we tell a friend? Or do we just leave it and make it all pretend? And what the students of the Royal Academy have done here, this Brighton RC front here, well, it's all in a book. And the book is absolutely free, provided you give us a donation. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think it's time we all went round to the hoardings and see what a beautiful job the Royal Academy students, Harbour Academy students, have done. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Ten, Ten, two, eight, eight seven, seven, six, I look around and people that we started with that never held a camera, people that were shy, they have absolutely just blossomed and I couldn't be prouder of them, I really, really couldn't. Some of their work, we've struggled because their work has been so good, we've struggled to get two shots because their work has been fantastic. So some of the stuff that you don't see is equally as good as the stuff that's on the walls here. So yeah, I'm really massively proud of the journey that they've had. Who doesn't like photography? Mm, yeah, <laughs> but you just take your own snaps and then you could make them something bigger within. Yeah, you could become yeah. someone from this. Yeah.